Jeffrey, you ready to rumble? Ready, Dad? <sighs> yep. Okay, everybody, this on the sick. floor. I know these are board games and groups. One, two, three, four. Hup, two, hup. You know what that's from? Every military. No. Who's that happy birthday under? And whose heart did you feel? I wonder. The time it feels like thunder, baby. Who's that heavy boots been under? <laughs> You know that one? It's Shania. It's Shania, everyone, obviously. Come on. Come on now, people. Ready? What? Oh, I was like, what's wrong with my arm? But it's just a, it doesn't matter. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about board games and board gaming things. Exactly. Jamie we, says I have no pep. Well, you ever. didn't. Je you literally, we started the video, and Jeff was like, <laughs> I can't do anything right. We are here today to do an update on our Shelf of Shame. It's big. It's big. Shelf of Shame, Shelf of Possibility, Shelf of Opportunity, Shelf of Wonder. You call it what you want it, we're calling it a Shelf of Shame because there's a lot of games on it. Mm -hmm. So we are just gonna go over with you all 72 games that are on our Shelf of Shame. Now, fun fact, we have games in storage that we don't remember what they are yeah. and there's guaranteed more in there that yes. are on this uh, list. So that's fun fact number one. Fun fact number two is that uh, we have not included any of our campaign games on no. this list. We will be doing a separate video coming up next or soon that is going to be talking about our campaign game plans. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just stay tuned for that. Just know that they are technically yes on our shelf of shame, but no, we're not going to talk about them because we don't want to. And also it didn't include expansions. So let's just jump right into it. And I also want to mention we are going to be doing in September a month called No More Shame September or Shameless September or something where we are going to really try and hone in and focus in on our shelf of shame and try and knock out a bunch of those games, mm -hmm. right? Let's keep in mind too, we pretty much only play board games. That's, that's all, pretty, we that's do. all we do. So when we say that we have this many, it's... Don't worry about it. It's like we could polish off half of these in like... A month. Yeah, easily. Easily. Maybe it should be no shame summer and we just try and knock off as many as we want. But I want to do September too. Anyways, we're going to be focusing on our shelf of shame. We'll have a video coming up about that. Let's jump into it. Jeffrey. Recent addition, we have Anachrony. That's a yes. Jeff game. So not only do we have Anachrony, we have pretty much everything you can get for Anachrony minus one expansion. Yeah. So we have the classic expansion. We have the exosuit miniatures expansion. What's that last one? Future? Fractures of time Fractures expansion. Of time. So Anachrony is one that was recommended to me a ton. Kyle recently got it and played it. I've never seen it for sale locally. Then it was at the Boardroom Game Cafe, which is always what happens to me. Mm -hmm. I'm like, haven't seen this one here yet because we prefer to shop locally. And I bought it. I understand you can buy this stuff probably all the time online, but we like to support them. So anytime they get new stuff in, I'm always like, yeah, I'm going to buy that. Because I don't know when I'm going to see it again. Never know. So that is an acrony. Yes. Then we have Rococo, which has been sitting on our shelves for a while. It will get played. Then a new addition, we have Rival Networks, which is a two-player version of the Networks. Yes. Excited. That will get played. Wonderlands. Well, you don't have to say they're going to get, you know, we're going to say they're going to get played. I'm going to say that for every single one. Wonderlands War. The uh, deluxe Kickstarter edition. I actually think this one's going to get played That soon. one shocks me that it hasn't been played yet, yeah. but we it has moved. been played because of all the move stuff that yeah. came in as we were like packed up. Exactly. So, so yeah. that one is going to get played very soon. We also have Smash Up Disney, which is a review game. So we're definitely going to be playing that one soon so that we can talk to you guys about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cryptid Urban Legends and Cryptid Regular. Yes. Both from Osprey. Just arrived. Just arrived. See, there's the other thing. Some of these are publisher games that we need to review or do content on and that's always coming in yeah so we haven't been playing as many games recently because we've been moving mm -hmm. so it's piled up a bit more than we normally would have it pile up to okay. but we're gonna be fine we're gonna be fine there's a lot of us yeah, just uh, everybody's gonna be fine yeah then we have kanban this eb one. that's gonna get played that one shocks the heck out of me yeah i really want to play it with jason though my brother because yeah, he's he really, really excited to play, to play it so then we have flick of faith that one's coming up. game that's coming up yeah. that'll come up then we've got three from gmt we have twilight struggle dominant species and wilderness war mm -hmm. A little bit harder to learn. Twilight Struggle will be played soon because we're playing it when we visit Cabre. Yep. So that one will come off the list. Dominant Species and Wilderness War especially is going to take a while. Mm -hmm. That is a learn. 
it's I'm really learning. hoping hoping Rodney hoping. will finish re- learning it and then teach me it <laughs> so that Not I Rodney. do it. Right. Rodney, like as you're if really you have hindering anything else going on. You're really your hindering our ability to knock Wilderness War off. Then we have Battle Lore. That's a Jeff thing. So yeah, it just got Battle Lore. That will get played. Blitz Bowl season two. Season two. That has been there a while. It'll get played. That needs to get painted and everything. Yeah. That's one that we'll play probably when we move back to Nova Scotia because I think you'll have more people that actually want to play. Yeah, I don't think that's a Jamie game. That's going to require some other people. Pathfinder Adventure Card Game. Thank you, Richard. Yes, thank you, Richard. Thank you, Richard. Haven't played it yet. Just got it. It'll get played. Glenmore 2. That's a big boy. We just got Glenmore 2. Just got it. I don't know when that one will get played. Yeah. Rhino Hero Super Battle. There's no reason for us to not play this. Can you play it at 2? I don't know. This, like... My mom might like that. We We love Rhino Hero. Let's play that tonight. You know what, guys? We're going to play that tonight. Mm -hmm. Then we have Ven, and this was sent to us from the op. This is a little party game. That will get played. Mm -hmm. Some of these, again, I feel worse about some of these than others. Same. Not about this one though. Ten Penny Parks. That's brand new. Brand new. That is brand spanking new. Don't even feel bad. It will get played. We have Factory Funner. I'm actually going to combine a couple. We have Factory Funner, Bear Raid, and Ghosts of Christmas. These three were sent to us from BoardGameTables.com. The hurdle here is that two of the three, you need a minimum of three players. Mm -hmm. So we just need to get a group together to play them. But you know what? We'll get played. Believe it or not. Horrified American Mm -hmm. Monsters. That, it's a spooky season game. True. Right? True. We do tend to play the spooky season games during spooky season. That's true. I don't know why, but even something that's going to come up in the future, which I'll mention, yeah. has been on the list a long time. And it's just like, I don't know what it is, but I don't have any interest in playing it until spooky season. Yeah. Call to Adventure Stormlight Archives. Mm-hmm. We also do have Call to Adventure Name of the Wind expansion. They will get played. We've played the base one. It's yeah. just, you know, in due time. We have Endangered Orphans. That is one that I'm saving for spooky season. We have Root Marauders. I really wish it was on the app. That's a, that's a me problem. This is a me thing. Yeah, that's not me. That one is not me. Agricola BS. Agricola big and small. She put Agricola BS on purpose because she's a dink. I thought it was funny. Those games are ones I have to get Jane, like I have to learn and get Jamie yep. to play. I draw a line of Grigola that, that's BS. On me. Then we have Crescent Moon, which was literally just sent to us for review from Osprey. Now, you need a minimum of four players to play this game, so we're just waiting. That's going to have to um, wait for the move, I think. That's going to have to wait for the move, unless Tyler and Ilya have it and want to play it. But yeah. other than that, it's not happening for a little while. We have a couple of the unmatched sets. We have Battle Legends Volume 2 and Hell's Kitchen. I can guarantee you that those will probably get played this month. Yeah, well, I should be guaranteed. Yeah, they will. Okay, they will. You heard it here first. Then we have Prehistories from 25th Century. I'm not a super rush to play that one. No, again, that one was sent to us from 25th Century, and thank you so much for sending that. Mm -hmm. But it was kind of unprompted. I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about it, so it might be one that kind of gets pushed off to the side a bit because there's other things we need to get to first, Mm -hmm. but yeah. Then I have Underfalling Skies. You have Underfallen. Underfallen Skies. I keep on falling. That's a you thing because you're the solo solo gamer. Yeah, I want to do a whole video about my favorite solo games and about solo games. So I need to play that one because mm-hmm. it is a strictly solo game. And yeah, that will get played soon. Don't worry about it. Then we have transmissions. So cute. Jeff actually has a rule book out for this one already. I do, yep. I do. That'll get played soon. That just arrived too, Kickstarter. Yep. We have Obsession. That is one that I am pretty eager to play. That's a It's you. a bit of a bigger learn. Mm-hmm. So probably, I don't know if we'll get it played this month. What day are we on? July 17th. Maybe not this month because we're going to be away. Maybe August. Ashes Reborn. I wish you guys would just stop asking us about this game already because like every time that we bring it up, you're like, what? why are you talking about it? What's this game? Like just, you know, <laughs> just leave us alone about it, okay? It's going to get played. Nemesis Lockdown. You spelled Nemesis wrong. I did? Nemesis Lockdown Nemesis. is... Nemesis Lockdown is in the process of getting painted, which was put on a huge hiatus because we were moving, and I also just stopped painting for a while. So that's going to require painting to be finished Mm -hmm. and a bigger group. Yeah, we seem to have an excuse for everything, but they're all valid. We sure do. Horizon Zero Dawn. Same situation. I need to paint it. You will see content on both of those games. Both of those games are going to be content related with just me, which I've done in the past for Awakened Realms. I just need to finish the painting. Yep. Then we have Fury of Dracula, which we just picked up. This is a spooky season game. I am really hoping that we're moved back to Nova Scotia by then so that we can do like a whole like Fury of Dracula night. Like that would be so much fun. That will get played eventually. Next up we have Barrage. Barrage we just got from Asmodee. I'm just 
now playing Barrage for the first time on Board Game Arena. Barrage is one that's probably going to require uh, someone other than Jamie. It's Great. it's pretty heavy economical. Uh, you're basically just lining up water routes. I think wow. you're, you're going to struggle with the that theme. That sounds really I fun. do think you would like it, but I think you'll struggle with the theme. Is this a Brass Birmingham situation? Yeah, I think kind of. It's not as good. Um, I just started playing it, but I think you would like Barrage, and I think it, it could be a very good two-player game. This is a, listen, Kyle sometimes influences Jeff, and this was a Kyle influence. Definitely. Yikes. Battle Through History is one we just got, too. Battle Through History, I know nothing about. Nothing. Zero. It was just gifted to me from Max for my birthday, mm -hmm. so thank you to Max. I don't know anything about it. Don't know when we'll get to it. Eventually. Then we have Glass Road, another Uve. Glass Road is one I purchased a while ago. One of the ones that have been on the list longer. Not the longest, but longer. A few months, yeah. And Jamie just fell, I shouldn't say fell, in love with Hallertau, but she really liked Hallertau, so I'm assuming she might like Glass Road. It's about glass blowing. A lot of these ones are me because I don't typically learn the games. <clears throat> and so when I have to learn the games, it's a long process yeah. for me to learn a game and teach Jamie it. So. I don't mind to learn those games, but I'm less inclined. It's not like the one she that I'm going to grab. She doesn't gravitate towards them. Yeah. Then we have Anno 1800, which I am shocked that we haven't learned and played yet mm -hmm. because I've just heard such great things. That will get played eventually. Then we have Thunderstone. Thank you, Richard. Yes, we just got yes. Thunderstone. It was just gifted to us. I uh, have not played it yet. Nope. Stardew Valley. What's wrong with us? That might actually be one we could play with Tyler and Ilya. I think they <gasps> have it. Tyler and Ilya, do you guys have this? They do. I'm positive they do. Let's play it. Then we have Meadow, which... That shocks me. Which I... It's down here. Which I have learned already. And then some... We got distracted. I don't really know. What we happened. had it out to play it one night and I, we ended up not playing <clears throat> it. Mm -hmm. Then we have Cthulhu Death May Die Season 2. That's a spooky season game. Then we have Galaxy Trucker. Now this one we've had since we went to PAX Unplugged. We need to play this. Same yeah. with Under Falling Skies. So here's the thing. I learned how to play Galaxy Trucker. I had it ready to go. We never played it. Now I forget it. Yeah, you're gonna have to relearn it. There's something about that. I tried to learn it and I got immediately confused. So Jeff has to learn that one. There's a lot of weird nuance, but I think it's one of those ones once you yeah. play it, you're good. Then we have Origins. It's from Board and Dice. You have to play it. I think it's a bit heavier. Yeah, I think it's a bit of it's a, like a sieve, sieve game. Yeah. yeah. Then we have Yak. It's so cute. I've already learned it. That will get played very soon, and we will have some coverage on it as well. I'm just so excited. Mm -hmm. I'm just so excited about mm -hmm. it. And then we have Bunny Kingdom. This one has been on our shelves far too long. And so many people have been like, play it, play it, play I know. it, play what it. What is wrong with us? There's also an know. expansion that has like a rainbow and a unicorn. Because we gravitate towards the games we already know how to play. Or like if we're tired, we also are like, what can we learn? Here's this quick little card game or something. Mm -hmm. So it might just take a little bit more. Then we have Cosmic Frog, which uh, is a Jeff game. Cosmic Frog is one I want to, you can play it at two, but I just got this. I possibly want to wait until we're with the table. I was going to say, I'd like to play it with Max. They, they were the ones that brought this game to my attention way back when we first started. And I think my first experience would be really cool to play with uh, Max and Doolin and Jash if he's back um, Joshua. in America. Okay, then we have Night Cage, Spooky Season. That's the one I was talking about. Spooky Boop. Season. Okay. Yeah. Hold We've had off. that for a while. We're very excited to play it, but it's a spooky season it's game. It's a spooky season game. We just we can't play it in the summer. It's too bright. Mm -hmm. Then we have Windward. Windward is one I just bought. I don't know much about Nothing it at about all. It just completed its Kickstarter. It's yeah. just fulfilling now. I don't know much about it. There's a big flying whale on it. Then we have Memoir 44, a new flight plan, but that is an expansion, so it shouldn't even be on here. Okay. Correct. So 71 games. And then we have Cosmic Encounter. Again, Thanks, one Luke. was gifted to us by Luke when we were in Dice Tower West. Mm -hmm. Cosmic Encounter has been recommended to me all the time since we first started doing content. Requires a larger player group. I believe Jason just played this. So he might be able to teach us that when we get moved back into our new place. Jason. Jason um, Derulo. Then we have Unlock Secret Adventures. We're going to be doing a whole series of like escape room type games, which once again, closer to spooky season. Because mm -hmm. you know when you get trapped in places and you want to escape? In October. Mm -hmm. Doesn't happen any other time of the year. Then we have Blackout Hong Kong. You know what? Let's just move on. Freaking God, that one's been on oh, there forever. That is Probably our longest one. Then we have Mage Knight Ultimate Edition. It's Here's just a deal. collection piece. I don't know if that's ever going to get played. I don't know. It will. I just suck at solo Jeff, games. Make like, that your bucket list item. 
If I want to do a solo thing, I go and play video games. So maybe that's one that needs to we just... We could play it co-op, though. It's true, we could. Yeah, it's true. might be the best way. Then we have Star Wars Rebellion. I don't Rebellion. want to mention this one. It's you know what? Move it along. Star Wars Rebellion, people. Okay. People. We're going to play it. Eventually. <laughs> We're sitting down and playing that game, and we'll just slog through the rule book. We have War of the Ring, first edition. Someone needs to teach me that game. Yeah. We have Knockdown from Awaken Realms Light. We've got a bunch of them. Haven't played it yet. I think that'll obviously. be a quick play. It's on our shelf. We have Dwarf Spring. That is one that I we really do need to learn. We have Dwarf Spring in all of the expansions. Mm -hmm. So we've played Fall, Winter, and now we have Spring. So we just mm -hmm. have to learn it and play it. Top Gun, another one that we've had for a while. Why did we even buy this I game? I don't know. We got it for like five bucks. Yeah, it was a deal, okay? Then we have Inkling. So this is a new one we just got that was sent to us from Osprey, which is a party-style word game. So it's a minimum of three players, so we can't play it yet, but maybe soon, mm -hmm. someday. Battering Gardens. This is, I got it literally like when I got the Isle of Cats expansions, which we also haven't played, but they don't count. It's just an expansion. Then we have Startups, an Oink game, which I think is a minimum of three players. Yeah, so, you, you had learned it and we just didn't end up playing it that night. Yes, because I bought it when we were visiting the Table Knots yep. crew. We, maybe we should take it when we go visit Tyler and Ilya. Mm -hmm. Because it's super light to pack. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm stuck to the chair. Then we have a couple of exit games. We have Abandoned Cabin and Haunted Roller Coaster. Once again, it's not Ooh. spooky season yet. You can't play a Haunted Roller Coaster in July. That just doesn't make sense. Then we have Emotep the Duel. We'll play it eventually. Then we have Colt Super Express. This is like just the card version mm -hmm. of Colt Express, which we love, Colt Express. But you need a minimum of three players. Sometimes yep. it's player count is what holds us back. Mm -hmm. Food Chain Island is the only button shy game that we have right now that I haven't played. Yeah, you've played all those solo. Yep, I've played them. I've been loving. Uh, except for Tussie Mussie. We played that together. Yeah, we played Tussie Mussie together. And I played Skulls of Sedlec with uh, Michelle. Set a Watch. So this was bought as a solo experience for me as a non-solo gamer, but you can play it cooperatively. So mm -hmm. maybe we need to just try it out together. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, like, it's supposed to be really good. Uh, and I lied to you just one yeah, moment you, ago. You, you sure did. The other button try game that I own that I haven't played yet is Death Valley. Mm -hmm. There is a game that I know Whoops. that you're missing off of there. What? It's the Butterfly Curse game. Yeah. We have a... Another escape room. From Key Enigma. Yes. And it's What's called, it called Butterfly Curse. And it's a escape room in a board game. It's like just this little envelope. It looks super creepy. Definitely going to be a spooky season thing. Hondo. Yeah, I'm actually Hondo. really excited to play it. Yep. So that is then 72 games on our list. Once again, not including our campaign games, expansions that we haven't played. Or anything like in that. storage. Or anything in storage. What's even in there? Don't know. Don't know. Like I said, we are going to... We'll keep you posted on how many we kind of get through. But in September, I think we should just dedicate like September to see how many we can knock off. By the time September comes around, that's going to be at 100. That's very true. There's more games on the way. Yikes. And if we buy a house, we're going to be moving again. Also true. Most likely, we're going to start putting up some more polls in our Patreon community to vote on which ones of these that they would like us to play first. Yeah. So if you're interested in joining our Patreon, which absolutely... Not necessary. Literally, 0% necessary. But, but if you're if you, interested... If you like making us do stuff. That's the place to be. All of the information for our patrons down below, as well as our Discord, which you should also yes. join. Most if you're not in our Discord yet, you're, you're missing, missing out. out. We're almost at a thousand people in our we Discord, are. and that just blows my mind. Yes. It is the best place to be in the whole wide world. We love it in there. You go in there, play online games. Who doesn't want to be? People. Who doesn't want to be in with a community of a thousand other board game nerds? Right. We're the best people. Yeah, the best. Everyone in there is so kind, so helpful. Yeah. Painters, board game players, video gamers. People who can find your movies, Grail games. Grail game seekers. Like, I frigging love our Discord. I do too. It's the best place. Mm. So if you're not part of the community, pop in. Join. And if pop you in. have joined and not talked or you're nervous to talk or yeah. whatever. If you're a Discord lurker, as people like to call them. Jump in. Everyone wants to talk to you. Jump in. Have fun. Talk to like-minded people and, mm -hmm. you know, find some games that you want to play. No meanies or weenies in yeah. our Discord. No meanies or weenies allowed. It just is what it is. Those are all of our Shelf of Shame games. Let us know in the comments what would you say from that list? What are you like if you don't play this? And don't make it be Blackout Hong Kong. We're No, we're, it's going to be... That. We're beyond It's going to be Star Wars Rebellion because I know... I, That's going to be know, Richard's going to comment I like know, 20 times. Star Wars Rebellion. I know all of you that are going to call me out for it. 
I'm just waiting for that username to pop up. Let us know what some of the top priorities are and we will get right on that. We'll play it eventually. Wink. Wink. That is all that we have for you guys today. If you're interested in buying board games like any of the many that we talked about today, you should first start by checking your friendly local gaming store. And for us, that is... The Board of Game Cafe. It sure is. But even though we're not in Halifax right now... It's still... It's still our... Jamie's going next store. Friday. Yeah, I'll be going next and Friday. And there's already games waiting there for us. That's all we have. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see... Please subscribe. We hope to see you again soon. And now, now we, say we say goodbye. Goodbye. Later days. And welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel. Pep. What do you mean? Was... You were like. No, I wasn't. <sighs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about board games and board gamey exactly. things. Exactly. No, we gotta do it again. That's not real. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about board games and more board games. Oh, it had no pep in it. That's fine. Okay, go again. Did you know that was gonna happen? Oh, yeah. There's two right behind us that we're There's not gonna so mention. There's so many. There's so many. Uh, Blitz. I'm not saying that anymore. Glass Road was sent to us from... No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Yeah, we haven't... I've learned it, but we haven't played it yet. <laughs> I'm going to cut that part out because that's gross. <laughs> okay. That's not even what that game's called. I know. Vadorant Gardens. Not... It's Vadorian or something like that. Do you want me to look? Yeah, it's in It's in that second basket, I think, underneath Inkling. Vadorant. Vadorant. Always believe I'm not. I have an itchy lip.